Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and in this video, I'm gonna help you avoid makeup flashback. I know that is everyone's nightmare. If you are a makeup lover, a makeup wearer, it has happened to you before. There are times when you have went out with your friends, taking group photos, and you're the only one looking like a powdered donut. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the things that I do to avoid having that flashback when you take pictures with the flash on. So I hope this video can help all of my struggling powdered donut faces out there. Don't even worry, Ray Ray got you. We are gonna fix this problem right now. Before I get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on everything I'm doing. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up right now, even if you haven't watched it, because I will find you and I will come get you. So you better like it. The first thing I always do is avoid using foundations that contain SPF or applying SPF before my foundation. This is because usually when you're using SPF, you're using it in the daytime, so you do not need it at night, obviously, because the sun's not going to be out. So when you use SPF at night, it will give you major flashback, so I would just stick to using it in the daytime. And if you're wearing your daytime makeup tonight, I would just say a quick little prayer that you don't get any flashback. <laughs> Instead, do not use SPF or foundations that include SPF. My favorite foundations to use that never fail me when I'm taking flash photography is the Tarte Shape Tape, the NARS All Day Luminous Weightness Foundation, woo, that was a tongue twister, and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. These will not give you flashback, at least they don't for me. They work amazingly, and I know that I'm not gonna look like a powdered donut at the end of the night. Another thing you want to avoid using is Please, please ladies, stop using concealer that is 10 shades lighter than your skin tone. Why? Why? You don't need to do that to cover those dark circles, honey. This is not cute. Please avoid this. And also, do not use so much because this is going to give you crazy flashback. It's literally going to look like it's 20 times lighter than your skin tone versus how it looks in the daytime. You do not need all of this, okay? You don't. I promise you. It's just gonna really ruin the balance of your makeup and make you look really clownish. I mean, nobody wants to look like that. At least, I don't think so. Instead, try using a concealer that's about only one to two shades, even three is pushing it, shades lighter than your skin tone to cover those dark circles. And you don't, you don't have to use so much. Just find a full coverage concealer if you have dark circles that are really bad. This is a major tip that I even just found out myself. You want to stay away from setting powders, loose powders that contain silica. I don't know why, I'm not a scientist, but all I know is every single powder that I use that contains this ingredient makes me look like a straight up powdered donut. We do not want to look like a donut. If you see that ingredient, please run, and instead, Obviously, he's a setting powder that doesn't contain silica. You will be safe. You can take as much photos you want with flash and you don't have to worry about looking like a crazy person and having your friends crop you out of that beautiful group photo. Okie dokie. So, this one, <laughs> a lot of my ladies, y'all do this too. Stop using highlighters that are too light for your skin tone, especially ones that are really powdery, you can just tell right off the back when you see highlighter, you can already tell it is just not gonna work with you. I know I'm throwing shade, but I have fallen victim to some of these things too, so don't even worry about it. The next time, you could just use a highlighter that goes with your skin tone. If you're darker, you wanna use nice, beautiful golden tones, medium tone, I like to use golden as well. Maybe you can get away with a little peachy tones, and then obviously if you're more fair tone, you can use the highlighter that I was trying to use that <laughs> I shouldn't have been trying to use because it doesn't work on my skin tone. Try using colors that are naturally in your skin. This is the makeup that you shouldn't be doing, and this is the makeup that you should be doing so that you don't look crazy. Now, here's my favorite part, the flash test. So first we're gonna do the flash test on the don't makeup. As you can see, powder all up in here, no bueno. A flash photo with the do makeup, and you can see it looks amazing. My face matches my chest, my neck, my arms, and it just blends into everything. It doesn't look like I just went swimming in baby powder. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. 
please comment below and let me know what are some of the makeup products that you love to use that do not give you flashback, especially for my darker girls. This could help me and everyone else who's reading the comments because I get this question so much. Please, let's end the flashback epidemic. Please, we don't want any more powdered donut faces. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh.